Okay, that's how to use Frostwire. Okay, say you want to search for any song here. Search for, um, that's actually a search for, um, let's go Stunt 101 by G Unit. Okay, you search, and it'll take a little bit to uh, get the results. Okay, the how you know it's fake is see this one. G Unit Stunt 101. It says it's zero seconds long, so you know pretty much right away that's a virus. How it's that small of a file. Alright, like, um, see, it's Mother ones here. See, now all these look legit, so that's not the song you're looking for. But most of the time, if you hover over the song, uh, the, the length will pop up. The length will pop up, and uh, all that good stuff that you want to know. So, that's how you use it. Most of the well, yeah, if you want dirty, clean, it'll have a description, but that's how you use it pretty much. You usually know how, if it's a virus or not by um, the bit amount, the bit rate, if it's too low, too high. But most of the time, if it shows the track, year, and the length and stuff, it's uh, it's legit. And if it shows the genre, too. So, download that, you know. And, uh... And then, uh... It'll pop up on the bottom saying that it's complete. See, what is your then you can just oh, your launch it. And you'll hear, you know, that it's playing. So, that's pretty much how you use um, Frostwire. Same thing as same uh, company but as Limar, except less people know about it. Same network, but um, less amount of people know about it. Uh, less viruses, way less viruses. So, yeah, um, it's a pretty good program, and you should use it. Thanks, comment, subscribe, whatever, I don't care.